beast on y'all, bro. What? All right, are we killing the music? And we are live. I gave us another new background, too, so if you happen to be watching, it's kind of fancy. Nice. So, hello, everybody. We are back for Monday Night Nitro. No, really, it's uh, the Changing Breeds game. Um, I was actually, I just got done, uh, well, I didn't get done. I was partly watching uh, Ready to Rumble, which is that wrestling movie with David Arquette where he's, you know, got a bunch of wrestling stars with him and whatnot, so. Kind of in a wrestling mood. There you um, go. But yeah, so uh, Todd, why don't you take us away and let us know where we're at. All right, let me pull this up here. There we go. All right. So when we last left, left our trusty adventurers, they were still in the infirmary. Um, everyone was feeling much better. Um, we had got through talking to, uh, oh gosh, let me pull up some memes here just so I can get us in the right place and frame of mind here. Um, so High Master Tan was there. He uh, has, has a fox tail, um, has fox characteristics to him. Um, there was Marcy the nurse, very human. Um, Donnie had been coming and going. And um, two gentlemen, early 20s, came in, bringing in a German Sifu uh, uh, Schmitz in. And Sifu Schmitz had just revealed that... Um, they were very rare Katamaras, and just through ancestral lineage that they know that they're distant relatives to Katamaras. Um, uh, he has, the way he spoke to Katamaras was borderline hero worship. Um, just kind of like they knew that he was going to come someday, and now he's here. Um, and that kind of made Katamaras uncomfortable, that conversation. <laughs> um, we had heard about um each person having um a sifu or master that was going to take them on personally except for um montana's leader has disappeared presumably dead but they never found her body um so asking her where she might feel more inclined to follow um and I actually i don't have that in my notes i think we were going to go with snake but i don't remember uh, anybody have that in a note? I do not. Well, I think you were thinking about that, but she was said like <clears throat> four legs are better than two or something. Um, yeah, I think I remember. Somebody that was like lizard-like or something. Oh, the mokale, the crocodile. Mokale, mokale, mokale. I think that might be it. That's where we went. Because we, we talked about the, the, the naga or the mokale, and so four legs were better than none. That's right. Um, because being eight legged, she was she was more inclined to have somebody that had legs. All right, that works. Um, excellent. So let me. So we were talking, Jerome. Um, if I wanted to share a picture, we were trying to decide the best way to share that would probably be in the Facebook chat. Does that sound right? Are you wanting me to put it on the? Uh the the display for people watching well i want to i would definitely want to display it with you guys um oh I yeah definitely definitely the chat then because i've got my phone out i can pull that right up okay so let me let me see how quickly i can do this because i definitely want to share this with you because they're gonna they're gonna share it with you so let me log in sorry oh no I worries you. take your time Oh, I love how Facebook will uh, show a memory of several years ago kind of thing. And it's got a picture of me and my son going somewhere. He's just being goofy in the backseat. <laughs> oh. Okay, there's Farah. And let's load up the tag picture. We're going to go to documents. We're going to go to RPGs. We're going to go to White Wolf. We're going to go to Werewolf. And then we're going to load up the large temple. Oh, I guess that means you want me to pull up Facebook. Oh, and we need to do XP. We do need to do XP. Yes. Um, so let's start there. I mean, I know Eric's not in this group. So is there anybody else that has a birthday this month? 
Me. I think Stacy does, judging by that that look and the, yeah, those outstretched birthday, hands. Stacey. All right. What My birthday's here? the twenty eighth of this month. All right. So let's roll it. Let's do. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing? A D six. It's a D six plus one for birthdays, and then for the the month, it's a D four plus one. All right. So you have a D six and a D four there, Stacy. I can very very quickly. A human head weighs eight pounds. Hence the joke. How do you lose eight pounds of ugly fat? Chop off your head. So the six. Like, that's a normal cube, right? Is a six? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a four is a pyramid. Roll on the right thing. Three on the D6. Apparently one of my bags and <laughs> with my dice in it. Uh, I don't remember how to read this one. Oh, I got a four. Okay, so three plus four is seven, plus two is nine experience. Yeehaw. I'm going to put that in the chat so Missy sees that. We have 55 total XP that we have earned. Minus, of course, anything people have already spent. So in the chat, if you'll pull up, um, I don't know, if Joel, if you want to pull that, if that would be easy to pull onto uh, Discord or not, or how we, how we want to do that. Oh, if you're trying to put it in Discord, you're going to want to put it in one of the, the text chats. Like, you can just put it in uh, the general chat, and it has a little plus button there. I can't shift away from that, because otherwise it'll it'll uh, mess up the screens. Okay, so... But I've got it pulled up here on my phone. All right, so as long as you guys can see it. 55, you said? 55 total, yes. Did I... Did you spend anything on anything? Something. Oh, I just didn't update my sheet. Um, no, I haven't spent it yet because I wanted to wait to see what we needed. There you go. 36. Being frugal and stuff. No, just prudent. But I did make a shopping list. Nice. <laughs> Smart. Are you going to um, add your Prime discount to that so you get the two-day shipping? On, on your you know what? If I can get two day shipping on all of these uh, new gifts and skills, <clears throat> two days free shipping. There you go. Make sure you use Amazon Smile as well. That way you get a you know, get, get a donation going to somebody. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is our temple. <clears throat> yes. Underground. That's crazy. Yes. <laughs> that's it. Just yes. Yeah. It, well, I mean, that's one of the things that he said that when you, when you were talking, uh, um, uh, Master Tan had, had mentioned, like, like somebody had said, how big is it? And he said that it's over six million square feet. Um, and it um, they they're working on expanding it. Um, but it's I mean, it can be expanded up to seven point three million square feet in here. Um. All, all in all, it has um, there are tunnels, um, but they're as wide as a road that you could drive um, two cars side by side down. Um, that's how wide the tunnels are inside here, um, and that's that's about as much as he's told you about the place. I he also had said, let me pull it up. I know he told you something else. Um, uh. 600,000 square feet, not counting caves. Yeah, the main anchorage of the temple itself. I haven't is, made it yet. Yeah, this, the temple itself is 620,000 square feet. So, the temp, so when you're looking at temple space versus usable space, I mean, there's usable space up to 6 million square feet versus the temple areas themselves all come to a total of 620,000 square feet. Um, the uh, the main temple that you guys are in right now, 
see if I can describe this easily to you. Um, if looking at looking at the map on the the top, um, I guess the very the, the biggest building on the very top up there. So the north the north building up there. So we'd be on the northeast of the property, or northwest of the property. Sorry. The one that's square. Yes. It has like an outer wall, and then there's um, an inner building within it. It's got the sign that says Sanford and Sons. No. <laughs> um, Red Fox just appears in the temple. Hey, Red, where's the mine? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't remember if they had told you or not how deep it was. Do you remember if they told you that? Uh, I don't recall. No, I think they hinted that. It, so it that was it like was a half deeper. mile. But yeah. Every, everything... Everything under on, underground, you, the entire facility is about a half mile underground. Um, and then once <clears> you take, there's tunnels that will lead up to the surface area. Um, and also, and it, it interlocks within um, the uh, the Kansas uh, um, mining labyrinth. So there's um, there's all these there's all these caves in Kansas that are that are explored and some are unexplored, and they 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 don't. Uh, they just haven't explored because it's normal people have not gone very far into these caves because they don't know how stable they are and the these people have made it seem more unstable than than it actually is so people don't go very far because people have been uh, you know people explorers have been hurt the splunkers have been hurt, hurt in the past so they've stopped exploring um scientists pre have presumed that there's over 600 miles of potential um, cave network, and that's what has been tapped into to make this entire facility for you guys. So they just, <laughs> they just tapped into existing uh, existing network of limestone caves. There's like seven different cave structures that are all connected together in Kansas. That's nice. So, and they. Um, when uh when sifu schmitz is there he has the, he, he's going to bring this map out for you he rolls the map out and he's just saying um this is this facility every everything here you're free to go wherever you want within the, within this within the confines of this facility um everything is protected here once you start leaving on trails out of this compound um we can't guarantee your safety um it's it, everything here has been warded has been um is guarded but outside this um there are areas that lead into um it, 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 some reaches into the, the, the dreaming some will reach into the umbra um there is a lot of magic here Probably looking at you guys, you're probably a little bit confused, just looking at everything. And he's like, Do you have I mean, I don't want to point everything on this on this map. It would take too long and it would I'm, I'm certain it would overwhelm you at this point. Um what how would you is, how long has this been here? How long? Um, we've been working on this facility for about 50 years now. Um <laughs> above us and to the East is um, an underground um, facility that was built by Kansas. Um, it's uh, it they it, it's actually it, there for housing and things like not for housing for storage. I'm sorry. Um, and it's what is the name? Um, sorry. I have all my notes and it's like there's so many. Um, there it is, Subtropolis. So Subtropolis is um, it's being currently used um, to, that's also part of the same limestone network, but it's just, um, 
it's it's only about um 200 feet below the surface so it's a lot different we're a lot lower here where, where we are so we've just we branched off from there when subtropolis was being built we were using subtropolis as as a as a dumping point for our our, our facility so whenever we were we were building uh, whatever needed to be excavated we would bring up to that level so that we had people working in subtropolis that would take it out from there um it's it's really popular um it's fully client climate controlled within subtropolis and here um humidity humidity levels not not bad at all um it's subtropolis has a lot more modern um facility with it there's you know they have lighting and everything like that we at this level have worked more with um gaia as far as trying to work with what's what's better for the earth rather than um working with electrical and, and trying to pipe that down into here um our sewage is taken care of through a natural um natural river flowing through um so we we, we have some some level of plumbing um our running water is more on the lines of uh, well water uh, with with the, the running river that comes through here so there's it's a lot of pump action that we're doing um it's not really um like turn a tap and water comes out it's just a little um it's just we've we've worked on a more uh, basic level on, on what we have here so what i'd like to do is i can either describe this map to you or i can take this group on a tour of the facility i'm a visual person so i just like to get going i definitely need to see this place in person i agree i would like to i would much prefer to tour and get my bearings and Canamars? i'm going with the group all right and uh francis oh yeah you ain't leaving me behind i'm sticking with the group over here <laughs> in montana will you be coming as well and she's like um i think if it's all right i'd like to explore a little on my own um kind of kind of see how the facility works um if that is that if that's all right um and they're like, nope, that's that's fine. You can explore to your heart's desire. Again, try to stay within the larger buildings. It's very clear um, what is warded because the pathways are smooth um, versus natural uh, the natural tunnels. So it's it's very clear where the warding stops if you don't if you don't have that ability to see how the magic is where it's where it's effective walls and everything so um if you just pay attention to the to the walls and the, the floors themselves you'll you'll easily be able to see around so montana just steps herself you know steps up brushes herself off she's like well with that i i would i would excuse myself and take my own tour at this point take my lead so um and, what's what that? Going? i need to go afk real quick i'm sorry no, you're fine. Um, as she's walking out, she, uh, she comes up to Yeva and she says, um, I need to do something. If you don't mind, it's going to be a little creepy. Okay. <laughs> like, did we talk about my spiders at all? That I'm. No. Okay. Well. Um, so you saw my spider form, the larger form. Yes. Briefly. Yeah. Okay, so I have a another form, a crawling form, where I can go into many spiders. Um, not something oh, I yeah. Well, I'm not gonna do that right here. But what I'd like <clears throat> to do is she 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 holds her finger out like she's like she just points at you and she put she put like puts her hand on your chest like this and she's like um i'd like to leave a friend with you if it's okay okay um just don't like tickle me or anything 
No, just, uh, it just if you're going to do something, just know that I am with you, and I can, I'll be checking in occasionally. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can handle that. All right. So when she takes her hand away, she's missing a finger, like part of a finger here. So, um, <clears throat> what what happens if if it like f falls off or gets stepped on? Um, I I I will I'll redistribute my weight so that I'll grow myself a new finger. Hmm. So it's 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 easy enough to do. It's just something that my kind can do. We all have our little gifts and tricks. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for trusting me with this. Oh. <laughs> so I just, um, if you, I, I would just ask that um, if you're going to do something crazy like jump in the water or <laughs> go run through fire, maybe maybe you say that you're going to do it first so you let me know so I can save this part of myself. Okay. I mean, I can make do, but I'd rather not. Gotcha. <clears throat> you guys all see um, Montana kind of whispering to Yeva over here, like over on the side. She like pulls her up on the side. And they're talking to each other. Um, I mean, unless you're like really watching what they're doing, you're not going to notice anything that's going on. Um, Montana says, all right. So with that, and then she just, she just walks out the front and, what, what walks to that where that, that hallway is? She walks up the hallway, turns left from it, where the direction that everybody came in, and, and she's gone. Um, Seafood <laughs> Schmidt is like, Schmitz is just, she's a, a bit of a loner, I take it. Uh, she has her um, <clears throat> preferences. We all have our preferences. That is That is fine. So, in this temple, we are about, we're not at the bottom level of, the, of this temple. We're about 12 stories down right now. Um, what we'll do is we'll go up to, we have a, uh, for the ease of mapping, we've made it so that we've tried to keep everything kind of at the same level. Um, less like a, a cave and warren structure, but more of, so it's easier to go and, and not get lost. So we'll go up about um, the last four levels of the temple are above the level of the facility. So we're going to go eight levels up so we can go out to the tunnel level that spreads out into the full facility. So um, we could call it, we, we just call it our base level. The, ba the base level is where everything is interconnected on a tunnel level Does that does that make sense so we're on the base level now we are eight levels below base level oh okay is the map that you gave us that's base level yes exactly that map is base level okay that way it's easier to see what's where so you'll notice Again, the building that we're in, you'll notice that it does go four stories above the base level at that point. This, well, I'm going to be honest, the entire structure is based after an old Shaolin monastery. Um, and we've, we've taken um, some liberties from the, the original Shaolin monastery and brought it here so that our structures can house many. Um, I, I don't know if... Uh, if anyone has told you, our, our facility, if fully manned, can hold over 2,000 people here. I think someone mentioned that. Yeah, Donnie's like, yeah, I, I, I said, I, I, I think um, it was about 2,000 was that I was told. Um, but maybe there's 40 people here, maybe 50. He's like, that's, that's it's a close estimate. We have about 24 students, about 12 masters, and about uh, 12 personnel that are that are help on different levels. 
So, you know, now I'm, I'm remembering too. So, um, but the, the main temple is farther down. Is that correct? We're, we're at the eighth level. There's four more levels be be below this one. Oh, you know what? I wasn't thinking levels, 15 to 16 stories down, which is a little bit different. So Right. So we're at the eighth, we're at the eighth level, which would be approximately eight stories below, below base level. And then four stories below that would be 12 stories down. And then four stories above that, above base level. So total this temple is about 16 stories or levels altogether. Okay. So this temple structure in and of itself is our, um, this is a worship area. This is um, a training area. This is our hospital at this level. Um, the level above it is for um, homeopathic surgery and um, a, a, a like on that level. Um, below this, there are, there's, there's different areas for magical experiments. Um, the bottom level is where you were actually, when you, when you teleported in from where you were before, um, that, that's the base level that you first came into. Um, that's the established link that you have from um, where the, uh, the changelings were from before. So Goober Gehe is, uh, He's he's part of a motley that's that it that that motley is part of our we have our own separate here. Um, we have a few were creatures here. We do have or not creatures. We do have a few were um, the Farah, um, and we do have a few changeling, and we have a, and then everybody else here is kinfolk. So there is no fear of. Um, if you want to change or do something, um, everyone here is, is very aware and very open to um, this world. So let's let's go to base level so we can describe just describe a little bit more at this point. So um, when you guys are it's it's stairs again. Everything is it's uh, it's it's natural rock. It's it's it's. Um, but it's it's definitely stairs, you know. So you come through. The walls are smooth, uh, the way limestone would be as as you carve through limestone. You're going up the stairs. You come to see open areas. Um, there's a lot of area in here that's just not being used at all. You know, you get to another level. There's nobody in this level. You get to another level. There's nobody in this level. But there are um, there's rooms that you can see as you walk by. There's doorways. Um, but there's just there's nobody here because the facility is so large with so few people here. Um, as you guys are going up the levels towards base, do you have any specific questions you would ask him or? None here. So what are all of these for? Do you intend to populate this place? What is, what is the plan? That, that is the plan to, to bring in, you are the the first of the, the uh, of 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 Gaia's creatures to come in to be trained. We brought in kinfolk, we brought in changelings, but you are the first of Gaia's creatures to come in to be trained. Um, and then through this initial training, we hope to spread out so that we can make this a full working facility over time. Um, just exponentially growing it. So from this, the 48 and um, and the six of you coming in um, will make this, and if it, if it doubles each time, then we should be able to fulfill this. But then within five years time, we're hoping that this will be running at max, maximum capacity at that point. That's impressive. It's all about preparing the infrastructure. If you have the infrastructure ready first, then everything else can follow suit. Where does the where does the food come from? We have underground gardens. Mm -hmm. um, so there feed two thousand people. Uh, no, not at this point because it would be wasted. 
Uh, oh, no, that's true. So we, we grow enough to sustain what we have. We do grow extra to, um, to bring above. We, we do some trade. Um, but we, there's, we do have enough garden area to feed 2000 people. Um, it's, um, it's meat is, is scarce other than fish. Um, so most here live a vegetarian lifestyle. Um, that's not mandatory. Um, I'm sure your friend Montana would not be willing to, to do that. Um, it's, it sounds as though she has very specific preferences that she needs. Um, and we can take care of that for her. Um, as for the rest of you, if you need meat, fish is, is readily available. Um, it depends on the person we do have. Um, you know, there's, there are cave insects here that, that grow a little larger that we, we can use to, uh, to farm. Um, so that if you're not squeamish, we, we do have some, uh, insect dishes that are quite tasty. Um, so, so just, if you're not, if that doesn't sound good to you, I would stay away from the stew. Um, unless specifically mentioned, um, if it's, if it's fish stew, there are, there are no insects within the stew. Um, if it is a vegetable stew, then there's all, it's only vegetables. But if it is, our chef likes to call it a tasty stew. Um, tasty stew is something that does have insects inside of it. Good to know. Stay away from the tasty stew. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind trying it. It's. I'll. I'll be honest. I was surprised. I. Uh, um. The. You're cutting out. Dang it. Am I okay or no? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's bad isolation. I don't have anything else open that can be stopping it. Let me close that. No, it's all right. Any better? I think so. Yeah, it looks like yeah, you're we'll back. Forward. I don't know what's going on here. This sucks. All right. Um. Oh, the crickets. They're about um two feet long um they're very docile um and there's quite a bit of meat on them so that's they've been um through guys manipulation we have been able to manipulate them to grow larger and use them as a food source um and they breed rapidly um and they can they can survive off of the vegetation so that we can get protein from them. So it's it's they're they're a viable food source. Wow. When you meet with uh oh where is he? There it is. When you meet Sifu Williams, um She's very proud of what she has done with the um, the insects, and she she will talk to you quite a bit um, about what she's done to uh, to to work towards that. It, it's uh, once she gets going, it's kind of hard to stop her. Um, so, you guys, as we're talking, you guys are going up to the levels. Um, he finally gets to a point where. He's like, all right, we are at base level at this next turn. Um, you come out, and up to this point, it's just been a stairwell going up. It's just a wide stairwell. You could probably fit about four people side by side on the stairwell. When you come out to the first tunnel, this is when you see the tunnel they described earlier. It's wide enough that two cars could go side by side uh, in, inside this tunnel. Um, so cars about what five feet wide six feet wide so we're looking at about a 15 foot tunnel with a 15 foot height and it's rounded archways 
the tunnel has not not squared off it's rounded oh, oh who lost? lost Brittany uh -oh. Oh. There she is. so this is the main tunnel this is one of the these this these are the tunnels that that connect on this base level these these are the tunnels that you'll see that was super weird yeah that was bizarre. <laughs> come back it was like discord just suddenly restarted weird oh hmm. sorry i wonder if it was an update maybe maybe um can you guys all give me a perception? And I don't know. I want architecture. I'm not sure what should I roll for architecture. A uh, repair, maybe? Repair? I don't have repair. What is repair? That's where you fix stuff. <laughs> I don't repair is a skill. I don't see that on the sheet. I do not have that. It's not listed. Mm. And maybe crafts, crafts, maybe? I mean, because if you have crafts of some sort, maybe you understand how things work in a basic level of building. I can do that. Yeah. So crafts, maybe science, maybe repair. So crafts and what? Crafts and perception. Perception. What's the difficulty? Six. Six? Pretty okay, easy. I got three. Okay. Two. Two. Uh, none of them in a one, so is that a botch? Like, how does that work? So no successes and a one? Yeah, because I, I only used perception because I don't have I don't have anything for crafts. So do you have you don't have craft do you have science or no? Nope, I don't have that either. All right, so you got a botch. I got a botch. Ken Morris, what have we got? I got two. Two. All right, Francis has one. And, oh, I forgot. Donnie. Three. Donnie Three. also has a botch. Okay, so you and Donnie are distracted with each other right now there, Jen. Uh, <laughs> um, Young people. <laughs> Yeah, actually, there we go. The youngest people in the group. Um, three successes um, are uh, Kagami's probably going to notice this first. When you when you think mine shaft and tunnels, um, you would think there would be like um, big old arch, like like wooden frames to like every every like twenty feet or so, something to support beams and that kind of thing. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, there you don't see support beams at all. So just coming out, looking at this this roadway or this tunnel roadway, you don't see support beams in here. Um, so it's odd to you that, like, is this structurally sound? Um, how does this work? But again, it's been here for it been under construction for close to fifty years. So. Something has to be done correctly. Interesting. How how does it stay up without any in structural or structural like actual support to so it doesn't cave in as you carve it? Oh, the uh, has anyone talked to you about the limestone? How it's alive at this level? No. Can I hear what they're saying? Yeah, oh yeah, you're right asked. Here. So actually they did say something about like the reason we don't have electricity is to make the limestone happy or some limestone happy. Oh something like that. Wait, is that the same with I mean, if you're drilling through the limestone, how is it happy that you're like literally drilling into it? I mean, there without... we go. Okay, so we don't drill. The limestone moves for us. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So it's willingly making a tunnel? Yes. The limestone has worked with us. We've asked it to make room, and it has compacted itself to make a dense structure um, and moved itself away. Um, you can 
a lot like lungs expand. That's how these tunnels have all opened up so that it, it, it's allowed all this to work. Um, there are there are natural caves in here. Um, so some of the some of it was not difficult to work with. And, and in some places we've just worked with the limestone itself. So um, the uh, we it, it's 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 been um, quite an experience to see some of this happen um, and allow it to happen. So we uh, it, we we don't litter. Um, we we don't like to use. Um, Vehicles that are um, powered by uh, like like um, liquid fuel or electricity. Um, combustion no. engine kind of thing. What's that? No, like combustion engines. No. No combustion engines. No, nothing like that within within here. Um, the closest thing that we have to a combustion engine is um, we have. Um, Donnie's like, it's like cyberpunk. Seriously. They've got like, like boiling tanks of water and, and it's just serious. Do you guys know what cyberpunk is? Uh, it's that's, that's what it is. It's cyberpunk down here. So Kagami is the only one that really knows what he's talking about <laughs> right now. Yeah. She's like, oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> he's like, okay, you're with me. He's like, so yeah. Everything down here is like, I mean, they've got water-based stuff down down here. Um, uh, it's like it's it's very very different. Um, uh, I did see a car. Um, swear to God, I think it's like a Flintstone car. I mean, they like you know the way they they push them and then they seem to just move. I mean, I don't understand how things work down here. Um, Do you have? Bicycles, but we, we do have bicycles. Yes, there are. When you say that, you notice that there are um, there's three bicycles near the entrance to this tunnel where you're at right now. So there's there's three bicycles right here. You know, um, and it's they didn't just appear; they were here before. You just didn't happen to notice them. You're like, like, so you've got bicycles. It's like, well, yeah, that's that's what we use. So there. Everything here is common, common usage, common, common owned. Um, so you could ride your bicycle here and then you just leave it. And the next person that needs it can take it somewhere else. So, um, so it's, I mean, it just depends on how you, you will be in shape if you're not already in shape. And most of you look like you're in shape. So that's not going to be a problem here. Um, Sifu Schmitz just says, he's like, well, um, there's only three bicycles here, and we've got two, three, four, five. There's a, so what, there's a four plus Donnie and Francis at six, and then we got Schmitz. So that's seven. There's seven of us and three bicycles. We're not going to double up, so let's just walk at this point. Um, further down, there will be um, um, an opportunity to see if there is uh, – maybe a vehicle that we can use. Um, but the main, the main thoroughfare on here, um, he, he pulls a map back out. Who would be holding the map? Cause he just, he just handed it to somebody before. So I'll let one of the women do it. <laughs> okay. Yes. Why? Cause you'll get us lost. <laughs> Cause it's a map. <laughs> Um, I would have guessed maybe Rachel, just like with, since you like the drawings and stuff, to maybe like look at the map. Well, we'll see how directionally cha directionally challenged she is on this place. There we go. So. I like that idea. <laughs> we'll make all Rachel right. Do it. You are visual, so that that's not a bad idea at all. So um, the buildings have that there. Um, so when you're coming out of this this uh, the temple itself, the uh, the the um, if we take this as a south facing building all right so the 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 uh the tunnel in front of you it go it it goes east west across it okay directly across from there you do see another um 
another door that, that will lead you another, to another facility at that point. Um, and he says, uh, across from us right here, the building that we're in right now, um, it, uh, it's that's that's our main temple. Directly across from us are are the dorms. Um, those, if you if you'd like to see your dorms now, you you may we can have you go in there. We have four four sets of dorm rooms, um, and within the within the dorms themselves, there are three um, three areas of sleeping quarters. Um, we were going to have all of you stay within these dorms directly right here. Did you want to see your dorms? I, I'd like to see where we're staying, if that's okay with everyone else. I concur. We have the ability, again, this is supposed to, you know, how was 2000? So we have the ability for all of you to have your own room, if you'd like, or if you'd like to, um, for comfortability's sake, if you'd like to bunk up with someone, you may do that as well. Which which do you prefer? Is there, would everybody like their own room or... Um, I would prefer privacy. I, I could go either way. Um, you know, well, um, I don't have a preference. Losing, it's a losing, losing names here. Uh, Kagami, do you want to maybe room together? Or would you prefer yeah. to have your own? I'm fine with that or rooms next to each other. Cause next I'm to sure each other would be great. Yeah. Each each dorm area has has a common room as well, so we can. I mean, the this um this entire dorm right here, it has been left open for you and for the for the other newcomers that will that will be coming. Uh, the other students are are um, housed in the um, the dorm directly after this, and then on the other side of um, of the facility, there's also dorms over there. Um, each Building, if you think of it as uh, a letter C, the top part of the C, the bottom part of the C, and then the back part of the C. Um, it's it, they, they're very they're very specific about not having uh, males and females sleep in the same area. So they would have males here, females here, and then those who don't identify as male or female are going to be in this other housing unit right here between the two. And he, he just He's explaining all that as, as the, the common room is. There is a common room at the juncture of the, the bottom part here and at the bottom part here of the sea. So there's two common rooms right there. Um, if Katamaros isn't going to be able to be with us right here, I mean, I guess he and Francis would be together. Um, how do you communicate with each other here? Like, how could I reach him in his area? Like, um, are we allowed to go over there? Is that no, okay? No, Just not no, sleep can, in the same area. You can visit. Um, go that weird, weird freeze frame uh, there. Yeah, I know. Looks almost like he's strangling oh. himself. <laughs> Don't do that. He can't get himself out of this. You're breaking up. <laughs> Just restarted my computer. Yeah, I know. Be right back. Okay, no problem. Todd can fix issues. Are Are you using a Wi-Fi connection, Todd, or, or are you connected directly? Oh, I'm connected. I have a, I have a solid connection. Well, like, are you connected by a cable or by Wi-Fi? Yeah. No. Hmm. I mean, the, the, you're describing it like, like I'm on a Wi-Fi. But... Did you forget to sacrifice Twinkies to your ISP? Maybe. I'm looking at my, my connection right now. It says Ethernet 2, so I'm connected Ethernet. Do you have other stuff running in the background, like other secondary programs or whatnot? And now it seems fine. Because I, I, I when I was running this, in the background is I've got I have Chrome open, but those are for my notes. But there's like no videos or anything open right now. 
Brome will take up a bit of your memory. So if you're kind of going back and forth between that, it could be doing it because you're on an older PC. No, I just built this over the summer, remember? Uh, no, I don't. Because <laughs> I remember the the last time we talked about that, the rating on that was like not quite 6,000. Unless it was a different one from that. No, well, let's talk about it after the game. So, sure. I mean, let's let's see if, like, if it, I mean, if it continues to be a problem, we'll figure it out from there. But, um, I mean, unless we have to stop, just let me know. I mean, is it is it? It's, you said it's okay now. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay mm -hmm. for the moment. Yeah, yep, yep. Just give us your answer again. Oh, okay. So, um, you are welcome to have guests within your room. It's your room. You're welcome to have guests. Um. Yeah, but we we don't want um, opportunists. Well, yes, we, we it's it's well, there's a lot of trust that goes here. Um, you don't want breeding. As, what's that? You don't want breeding. Well, breeding would not be relations. Yeah, yes, I mean relations causes training to stop, and and breeding if someone gets pregnant causes training to stop so um if if you have a spouse that you bring with you um and you need a conjugal visit on that level then that's that's something that you can have if you have a significant other that you have with you that those are all fine but again it's the training is what is focused here um making this beach court within this continent um is the main priority of where we are um again you are Farah, and you are animal in nature and that is an animal instinct and if that is something that you need um then that is something that we can you know work with you on uh um <sighs> Sifu Williams. Is Francis with us? You when, don't have to explain. It's okay. Yeah, Francis is with you. And Francis I'm just gonna. Like, I'm just gonna look at Francis and make sure he's not like popping off or or like you know winking at anybody or something. Just I, I've got to figure that he's probably gonna be like, yeah. He's just like <laughs> Francis is just like. So wait a second. Nobody said there weren't gonna any be any any games here. You know, I saw that. Uh, what was her name? Mercy. Donnie's like Marcy. No, Marcy. Yeah, Marcy. Yeah, she was nice. A little young, but she was nice. And so, uh, and I was. You were saying that there's other girls training here and everything. No, no offense to you, ladies, but you know, I was. You know, gotta keep my eyes open for stuff. And so, uh, you know, you know how it goes. Um, uh, Sifu Schmitz is like, well, Francis. Um, the training comes first. Um, again, we understand the animal nature of, of, of where you are. Um, if this is a need that needs to be met, then um, uh, as long as it's not interfering with anybody else's um, training, then that's fine. Um, we, we do have a drink that... Um, Ladies, you are welcome to take that that other ladies have taken in the past here. Um, that if you take the drink within six hours of mating, as you said, um, it, it assures that um, you will not get pregnant. Uh, oh, you mean be so they have plans there too. Okay, that's good to know. So it's a whole are you 486 kind of thing. So, <laughs> so it's not what happens with it is that it does not destroy the life. It just makes the life so that it doesn't occur. So this is something that you are willing, <laughs> that it has to be within the six hour time window. Um, because after the six hour time window, then it is. It is definitely a life at that point that um, that has to be taken to um, fulfillment, as you may, as you say. So, um, a lot of the women here, um, they just keep a flask of this in their room. So, 
um, if they decide to get, and France is like, if they decide to get Randy or something, they're ready to go, right? Right? He's like, well, I, I wouldn't quite phrase it like that, but yes, they are prepared. Well, I'm 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 glad that that's a consideration that's been made. The beast court and the training is a, is the paramount, and anything that would get in the way of that, um, we have worked with people. We've had people that have lived underneath here for close to a decade. So well, that you you have to work with animal instincts at times. Um, you you can go above the surface with with permission and knowledge because we have to work it out so that you suddenly just don't walk into subtropolis or come wandering out of a cave so somebody sees you come walking out that would destroy everything that we've done here so um we would have to sneak you out so that you can go into society um on the on the on the surface world um so most stay here once once here most stay here um but if this is something that you need in time we can work with you on that and then there are missions that we will send you upon once training has reached an appropriate level to go off and recruit um and missions to go off um for gaia as far as um uh if if the worm is rising somewhere, we may need a, a, a cell from here to go out to conquer that level of the worm. Um, but we're not at that level now. We've we've let um, others take care of that, but we we are hoping to be able to take care of that on our on our own. So, to the right, the ladies, your dorms are here. To the left, gentlemen, your rooms are over here. Um, there's uh so we have if you want to secure a room for montana you you can do that um there each each side has 10 rooms to it um so you are welcome to take a look at the rooms and uh walk walk within the rooms and see how however you make how you see fit um so when you walk into it so like um france is like come on catamaras let's go check our side out Let's see what we got. Very well. Donnie's like, I'm going to come with you guys. Is that okay? It's like, yeah, come on, Big Blue. Let's do this. <laughs> Donnie's like, okay. So you guys go off to the left. The ladies are going off to the right. Um, so each dorm has its 10 rooms. And it's five on the – so when you go into the room, it's five five rooms on the right, five rooms on the left. With just a hallway down the center um and then there are um it's like there's like a bathroom um within in each in each in each building there's a there's our own bathroom there um but it's a communal bathroom um and then at the end are the two common rooms and then they connect down a hallway so you can go down the top of the c and then go down the back of the c and then come out the other side of the letter c that way they actually all connect together. Um, I feel room, like we should be semi close to each other, right? You, um, the room, so the, the two C's that are, that are there, they're connected off the main stripway is right here. So you could go out this hallway or this hallway and go on the main thoroughfare and easily get connected. And on the other side, they're connected on the bottom by that last set of dorms that's not occupied at all. So you guys can either all be on the same wall or you could be across from one another, however you want to set it up. What do you think? It doesn't really matter to me. To me. Every room is identical, by the way. There is no posh corner one or that that kind of thing every room is identical i don't see why we just don't take like the center rooms or something yeah just Across something from where we're you know where we share a common area or something that, that's fine 
So do you want to all be all five of you on one wall? Or do you want to do like three on like one side? Two and two? You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's to say if we fake our rooms, yeah, yeah, two next to you, and then we are across from the others. That makes sense. I'd like to be on this the side that's next to Kagami if we could do that. Okay. Yep. If that that's okay with you, Kagami. Yeah, that's fine with me. All right. So if we break this up here, um, do you care if you're next to the bathroom or does it matter? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. So I want to put Montana in the first room on the left. Right next to her will be um, Yeva. Oh, right across the hall, we'll put down Kagami on that first door on the on, on the right, and then right next to her is Jen. Okay. And then there's a space, and then the bathroom comes after that. All right. Um, each room is about, um, gosh, it's about ten feet ten feet by ten feet inside here. You have a single bed inside here. There's a desk, a chair. In a small table, um, there is a um, a wardrobe that is a uh, it's a, it's a stand up wardrobe. It's not like a closet that's built into the wall. It's it's a it's a stand up wardrobe that's there. Um, you guys go exploring in the rooms and everything. There are some uniforms hanging inside the closets. Um, they're just there already. Is this what we need to wear? So you and there's nobody with you because he gave you. Oh, there's nobody with me. I thought we were all kind of looking. Okay, so are we're the people that were guiding us? Are they like out in the hall? So Sifu Schmitz took the guys to their side. Um, as far as uh, Katamaris and Francis, Francis wants to be on the opposite side of Katamaris. He doesn't want to be on the same wall. Um, mm -hmm. I'm by me. So he's just like, I just want to, you snore, you know, and I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, I, I'm okay. So he chooses that first room on the right. Um, across from that, we could put Katamaris right there. And then Donnie's just like, uh, Katamaris, is it okay if I, if I'm next to you? I don't see why not. It's just a room. No, I just, I, I'd rather, I don't know what, he kind of he kind of leans in to you and he's just like, I think I trust you more. Ah. Uh, then choose what makes you feel more comfortable. I'm going to choose this room. And Sifu Schmidt is like, he's like, all right, I, um, I, I'll, I'll let you, Check your rooms out, and I'm going to wander over to the other side. Um, and then, so you guys discover the same thing, exact same setup, single bed, desk, chair, table, wardrobe. And inside the wardrobe, there are um, some uniforms inside the wardrobe. Um, when I say uniform, think of like a what, like the, the Shaolin um, outfit that they wear, the, the loose-fitting clothes and everything. Um, it's that, that – uh, Tempered orange, um, but not like bright, bright orange. Um, so you guys are just kind of walking around, and Francis is like, I ain't wearing this. And you can actually hear him across the hall. He's just yelling that out. And Donnie's like, I don't know if it's going to fit me. He comes walking into your room, Katamaris. He's holding his outfit. He's like, this is Well, at least it froze in a better frame this time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do. We'll wait so, till he catches up. I thought I thought Donnie was supposed to yeah. stay in a different, like, because of his... Oh, yeah, I thought he was species. staying with a bunch of other fae. Yeah. Yes. 
now mm-hmm. Todd looks very surprised. Yep. And, yeah, <laughs> and, and now Todd poses as Max Hedrum. We'll just give him a, a minute or so to recover. Yep. This sucks. And he's back. Almost. Sort of. Almost. This sucks. Just be patient. Technology is great, except for when it isn't. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I could do Discord on my phone, but I think that would be far worse. Discord on a phone usually is. <laughs> that looks like you're back. I think we got All you right. now. Okay, so, so I, what I don't understand is I hear you guys, and there's I don't see any lag on your end, so I don't know why I'm lagging for you. That's so weird. Oh. Uh, all right, so your question was about Donnie staying with you. Donnie had asked, um, well, no, wait, I'll wait till we catch up on that. You ladies okay. are having those questions, um, and they're in the other dorm on the other side. So. Okay. Sifu Schmitz comes over to your side. Um, he, he walks in the hallway. Your doors are open unless you intentionally shut them. Um, I would assume that you left your doors open just so you can talk to each other. Um, and uh, he just says, ladies, have you found your rooms? Yes. So I guess we're, this is what we wear. You, you don't have to wear that. Most people do wear that. It's just comfortable fitting clothes. I mean, I, I didn't really bring anything, so. No, we, we provide that for you. If you want to wear that, you may wear that. If you'd like to wear more contemporary clothes, then that's something we'd have to get sizes, and um, we can have that down here within a few days. Hmm. I'm, I'm okay with this uh, most of the time. However. When training, I would prefer to wear my own gi. Again, you may wear whatever you'd like to wear. Um, this is, at this early stages, we are not looking to be um, military strict. We are just looking to develop um, where we're at. Um, the hope is, in time, you will be leaders, and you can make decisions for your pod, and you can make decisions for your group. If that makes sense. Are you yes. are you expecting more like us um, soon? No, no, not soon. No, uh, we want to make sure that you train here for a few months, um, um, and then once you've trained here and you're up to speed as far as where you need to go, then we'll have you to go out to recruit others. We have members that are um, that are now looking for potentials. So when you are ready to go off and recruit, then it'll be easy for you to, to make contact at that point. All right. Um, the room at 10 by 10 with the bed and the desk and everything like that, you all noticed that you could easily fit in here another single bed. And if you wanted to, you could actually make two bunk beds out of this. So this single person room could easily be transferred into sleeping for four in this room if needed once we start getting to capacity. So just looking at this room, it, it's, it's a little open, but it's open because it eventually is going to house um, – and instead of just you know the ten people inside here, it's it'll be meant to house forty people inside here. Um, if you wander down to the bathrooms, there are there's a bathroom on each side, and it's a it's a community bathroom. The community bathroom it's it's like a public bathroom. You have several stalls inside there. Um, there are sink basins inside there. And then above each sink basin, there's a pump to get the water so you can wash your hands. Um, and then there's also shower areas in there as well so that you can pump the shower and then water can come out for a shower. So everything is hooked up for pumping. It's not just faucet, 
but it is one step away from a classic. Clever. So I can get the gentleman to come back over here. Do you need more time in your rooms or would you like to continue to tour the facility? I mainly want to just find out kind of what the main points that we should be aware of, um, like as far as where we need to train and go or meet every morning. All right. That that is fair. Let's let's get the gentleman um and we'll we'll uh we'll convene together. So ladies, if you come with me, so he walks back down the hallway, um, and he goes out to the main the main thoroughfare and goes over towards where the, ge the gentleman's side is there. Um, he's walking in. Um, when he gets over, that's the, that's the conversation. He, he, probably, he walks over around the time where Dottie and Canamara are looking at the clothes, knowing that there's no way they're going to fit into these, these outfits. Um, um, Sifu Schmitz is like, these are um, a general... Um, um, medium that can be brought up to large um, just by letting it out or can be tightened to make it smaller. But you are absolutely right. We will need to get um, it, this tailored so you, so you gentlemen can easily wear these outfits. And Francis is like, I ain't, I ain't going to wear it. I'm not going to wear these orange things. He's like, I, I understand, Francis. You don't have to wear that. We're just looking for uniformity. Um, if you let us know what your needs are, size, um, we can get clothing down here for you within two to three days. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I, I, I got I got to get that. Can I get a track suit? Is that going to be okay? I, 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 that's, if I'm going to do some exercising, I want to get get a track suit for that. He's like, yes, we, we can get you a track suit. He's like, yeah, and sneakers. He needs some good sneakers too because I, I don't want to wear these loafers around and train in these loafers. He's like, that's, that's fine. We, we can do that. He's like, well, if you if you'll all come with me, let's go out to the main thoroughfare here as well. Um, you walk back out again directly across from you is the main temple. Um, you uh, you just go a little ways and it comes into a T juncture. That first building right there, the smaller one, is a training hall. Uh, and I'm gonna screw this name up, but it, it is the uh, Garbaha. Say it again. Kitsi Garbaha. So, Stacy, I know you like letters. I, where do you want me to put that so you can see it? Um, you, I'm going to spell it for you. As I say, you could just spell it, would be great. Okay, K S I T I G A R B H A. So, Kilo, Sierra, Indigo, Tango, Indigo, Golf, Alpha, Romeo, Bravo, Hotel, Alpha. Okay. All right. This first hall right here is um, is mainly used. It is for, for weapons training. When you walk in, um, kind of Morris, this is pretty exciting for you. Imagine, actually in Gen U as well, imagine any hand-to-hand -hand combat weapon that covers one entire wall. You've got pole arms, swords, spears, stabs. Um, they're just, it's just a whole wall of weapons that are that's, that's inside there. Mm -hmm. um, axes, javelins, I mean, you just, D and D shopping galore. That's what, that's what that's what you see on this wall. Um, uh, Yeva, you've never seen anything like this before. You've seen a training area before because you saw this with your father in Africa, um, but nothing like this. Um, and then you all saw the dojo when you were in California. It's it's a similar setup to that. Um, the floors in here are there's mats on the floor the floors in here. So um, this this building, when you walk inside, actually has a sliding door. You walk in, and when they slide the door again, it looks very Japanese inside here. There is 
um, wooden framework in here. Um, there's, it's just, it's, it's, it's meant for combat, but it's also meant that if you get thrown, you're not going to break a bone. Okay. Um, it's about two stories high in here. So it's meant, so if like when you're doing weapons and throwing, it's, it's, it's good for practice and good for hand to hand combat inside here or weapons combat, I should say. Um, Francis is like, that's a lot of pig stickers. Yes, and it is. Like, uh, I don't know if it's really a, a pig sticker, but th those are that's I, I like the mall. That's 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 nice. I I, I want to. So he wanders over. Donnie just he's like, can I? And 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 uh, Sifu Schmitz is like, you may make make yourself at home. You may you know um, some of you have more extensive combat training. Uh, some of you this is new for you. So but make yourselves at home. To, uh, Play with the weapons or practice the weapons as you see fit. So we're going to learn all of these? You will learn as much as you want. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going and checking them out. Um, you know, we know I, I have my own uh, one Dao, but I want to check out theirs and see how it compares. So I'm going to go snag one. It's, I mean, yours is really nice. You have like a family heirloom kind of thing. Theirs are, it's, um, it's what you would find at a dojo. They're, they're, it's, it's standard. They're not expensive, um, but they're meant for fighting. So they're not, they're not weak by any means, but they're not ornate either. They're meant for fighting. Um, like renting it, an instrument from the school versus buying your own. Yeah, but it's a step above renting the instrument, you know. So like, um, so it's they, they they're meant. These weapons are here. They're meant to be here for a long period of time. So somebody mm -hmm. spent money on these to bring them in here for long term. So those those rental equipment from the school, the, if if it breaks, it's like whatever, you know. With these, there is some money spent on them, but they're definitely not ornate. They're definitely meant for training and for combat. Um, Donnie I'm moving one around to try it so and the way it's set up you have smaller weapons on the far left um and then it goes into then the swords then you get into pole arms and then from there you've got large like maul that kind of thing and then stabs and then hammers go from there so it goes across from sharpened uh, 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 instruments on the far left side to blunt instruments on the far right side um so Donnie walks up, grabs a maul off the wall, and he's just, he's got this thing. Again, Donnie's about seven foot, seven foot two. Um, and he's and it, this thing's big. Um, he's making sure nobody's around him. And he's just like, he's not doing katas like you would do, Jen. Um, but he's definitely he's he's used one of these before. Um, Katamars, you notice that the way he's using it, um, He's been trained, but he probably hasn't seen battle. And okay. Jen, you would probably notice, notice the same thing. He's he's good at using that, but he probably hasn't had to hurt anybody with it before. Um, uh, Yeva and Kagami, it's you're it's just impressive to you guys. You know, Donnie's swinging this mall around. Uh, Jen swinging that pole arm around. And you're like, wow, you know, like, yeah, but you're like, you're gonna, we're going to learn that too. So um, you're like, that's cool. One day I can do that kind of thing. Um, does anybody else go and play with a weapon at all? Or? I'm a little disgusted with some of the modern day swords. Because, <laughs> okay. I, I mean, swords, you know, back for when, for when you know, my tribe was around or whatnot, it, they, were, they were very sturdy. They were more choppy chop sort of look, you know, the, the swords that had more Asian feel are all like, you know, crouching tiger, hidden dragon. It's like grab a hold and it's like, it's not supposed to bend. And it's just like, whoa, 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 you know, it's like, I mean, and of course for that. them that works that, you know, that like that totally makes sense. It's fluid for the Kung Fu or whatever have you for him. It's like, this is just ridiculous. Just doing, doing. So I just, I, I, I go and. 
like along the lines of a claymore. You can see a two-handed long sword. Mm -hmm. So you see weapons that like you're looking at the kung fu weapons, like the butterfly sword, that kind of thing. You're like, this is a joke. And you can walk over and see this <laughs> solid steel claymore style weapon. You're like, I could use this, you know. Um that's interesting, but there's a part of me that I just want to grab a a, a gladius. Okay. Just because it's the weapon of my enemy. There you go. It's it's there. Francis is on the far left side where the daggers are at. He's he, he it looks like he's staying away from swords and everything like that. He's picking daggers off the wall, and uh, he's got like one hand, one in each one in each hand, and he's like he's holding about knife knife fight style, and he's like doing this kind of thing, like 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 <laughs> very clear. He's been in knife fights before. The way he's moving his hands, you know, like um, like slash, and they're like. Um, please tell me he's not doing the Steven Seagal there, thing. What's that? I said, please tell me he's not doing the Steven Seagal thing. Or like he looks he looks cool with the knife, but then as soon as somebody gets near him, they just magically flip. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like it's uh it's a slash across the throat, stab in the temple, and at the same time stab in the gut. You know, so it's almost like dirty fighting style the way he's doing his hands. Gotcha. So um it it looks pretty, but at the same rate. He's definitely used knives in combat. So um, he's and he's very excited. Like he does this for a while, and then he stands up. And he's like, "I like these. These, yeah." She's gonna look around and see if she can find some nunchucks. <laughs> there are nunchucks on the on the right side, on the blunt instrument side. There's definitely nunchucks over there. Okay, she'll just kind of make her way quietly over there and kind of take him out, like she's ad admiring him. And then she starts running some moves off. Because <laughs> uh, that's her yeah, weapon that's of specialty. Be, yeah, but that's going to be a total shock to you. That you never would have guessed that she knew how to use nunchucks. Yeah, that's... Um, I thought that was just a cartoon thing. I, I'm I'm looking at her, too, just because it's like all that we've talked about, it didn't seem like, you know, fighting was her thing. In all of our conversations, the family hand me down tradition. I don't <laughs> care that she's using them proficiently. I'm just disgusted that somebody put two sticks on a chain and they think it's effective. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the hell is that? <laughs> Looks like you like she really wants to whack you with the nunchucks. <laughs> just. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you're breaking up. Ah! <laughs> Bad timing. <laughs> but he fro he froze in a good frame. He he's yeah, happy he and smiling. He looked excited. But, yes. Happy and <laughs> it's kind of coming back. Keep moving. So we can tell. <laughs> no, not to Stevie Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Almost. Almost there. Almost. Okay, there I think you you're back. I think... Oh, spoke too soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I think you're back. I think you're back. Right. <laughs> Try to look into this and find out what's going on. So it is... It's five minutes after nine at this point. We were going to wrap it up by 9.30, so I think we're going to be wrapping it up sooner than that. At this, so <laughs> That's understandable. It hasn't been too bad. I I mean, I want to go on Twitch and watch how bad this looks. But I mean, I don't. <laughs> but I also can't go on Twitch because that'll totally screw up my system. I'm sure. So, well, the other thing I was thinking: are do you use Cox? Yeah. Okay. Um, you may want to check to see if you're maybe being throttled or something. Like if you've done a lot of uh, streaming of like TV shows and and whatnot. Just something to check. I, yeah. I've been doing a lot of Netflix and binge kind of thing, so. So, like, out of data for the, whatever their plan is kind of thing? Yeah, they start they started introducing that uh, last year, I think, or something like that. They did they did soft rollout where they, they, let you, they let you know via email that they were doing it, but I only discovered it because it went, uh, I noticed it coming, showing up in, like, 
promotionals email or something. <laughs> so it's like I would have missed it if I if I hadn't been paying attention. I I, I will definitely look that look into the cost of the data cap on that. Find out what's going on, and then all right. Um, okay, so Jen, you saw Kagami pick up the nunchucks, and you're like, oh, that's interesting. She's getting that, and she starts swinging them around. And your first instinct is she's gonna hurt herself, and so you walk, you start walking up to her, and you realize, wait a second, she might yeah. actually be able to hurt me. So, right. um, so you're walking she up. Was, to she has her her belt, which actually de detaches into a set of nunchucks. So she'll basically kind of flip over to one hand and then take off her belt and start moving around with the other one. She's like, yeah, yeah. I got this. <laughs> And then for Katamara, okay. for you, that's just way too showy. Again, she's just thrashing sticks around. They're not even sticks. They're like they're 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 literally clubs with chains, and it just it, it, it to me it looks more like a jester in the court. Just <laughs> like I, I mean, just yeah, I mean, because it's like well, it even comes with some of the 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 sounds and whatnot too. Because I'm not going to be familiar with that. So I'm sure she's going like whoa, whoa, ha, you know, or or like you know the the breathing with it. It's just like. <sighs> and you know what? We have our all. We all have our own little specialties. Okay, don't hate on mine just because you can't do it. I'm not hating. I don't understand it. It seems utterly ridiculous. And I'm just going to take the 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 sword that that I have on my hand, and I'm just going to make one motion. <laughs> that ends oh an God. enemy. I, I don't understand all the flipping and, and spinning and Maybe because I'm not in the market to kill everything I go up against. Why not? Oh, you have a lot to learn. Donnie's he, he stops at the mall and he turns and looks at you and just says, Um All right, I haven't been in any big fights before, but when I was when I was trained, um you, uh, you, you're supposed to fight to win. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't think it matters what weapon you're using as long as you're good at it, you know. So, um, but I, that's that's my own opinion. He put them away. Ejected. I thought it was brilliant. I would love to see you hit Katamars with those. I would yeah. love to hit him too. I was thinking that you could, you know, I was looking around to see if there was something you could like hit with it and knock it, you know, to show how precise you could be. Yeah, are there any dummies in here? There are, there are dummies. I'm standing right there. Gotta be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yes, have to just kidding. If you think there it's are. going to be effective, please demonstrate. There are three training dummies on the on the um on the north side of this this hall. So he what what to to hit it with something, aim for something that's sitting up there, like Yeah, just do Dex melee. Tell me how many successes you get. Just the dexterity is uh, sure. difficulty six. Dex melee. Sorry, I gotta find my dice. <laughs> uh, five, and there's two on the floor somewhere. You know what? <clears throat> uh, difficulty six? Yeah. Okay, so I got four, and I have a ten, because I have a four in my decks. So four. All right. So, yeah, you hit. Um, roll damage. How what kind of damage are we doing with the nunchucks here? I mean, what is it? Uh, plus one. I think it's strength plus one. Strength plus one. I think. Yeah. I just roll strength, and that's it. Yeah, you roll. Just roll strength, and then add one to for one. One, one. die for. Uh, oh, sorry. Add one extra dice to your strength. Yep. A oh, one extra die, or add plus one. No, add, add, add one, add extra, one die. extra die. Oh, well, I have one so far. So just one. So one success. Okay. All right. 
So, um, so Kenna Morris, you see her with the with the with the uh, the nunchucks, and she hits. And I'm gonna say, I mean, just to you know, wrap it up to speed it up. She's she's good. She's hitting. She's it's, it's obvious that damage can be done with this, but it's it's showy the way she's doing it compared to what you would do. Um, everybody else is pretty impressed with that. You know, Francis is like, he's like, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want to get close to you when you're swinging those snows. The sticks around. Some sense into people. Right. Just because I don't want to kill them doesn't mean they're not effective. <clears throat> um, Donnie just says, the only drawback I see to those is there's not a lot of range to them. You know, you don't, there's not a lot of distance. Like, he takes his ball and when he, and he, and he you know, throws it out. It, like... It goes out a good four feet away from him when he's when he's striking down with this thing. Well, he's and like, hopefully his arm is like twelve feet long already. Yeah, yeah. So like he's got this. So when he strikes <laughs> down, he's like he can hit something. He's like, Catamaras has the same thing with the weapons that he uses. It's got distance to it. You know, um, Jenny's got the same thing with she's got. <laughs> but I think close quarter wise, you and Francis have got, you know. It's it, it seems as though you've got an advantage as, as far as close quarters go. You know that these can be thrown too. I they have a chain to them that can be wrapped around a neck. Yeah. Okay. Just as an example, I, I'm just gonna go grab a pair off the wall then. All right. So we'll do. This is the first time you've ever worked a, a weapon like this at all. So we're going to do Dex Melee for you. Difficulty 8, your own. Sure. Watch. He's a warrior who's going to do it better than a little crow. <laughs> I'm not spinning it around. I'm just, I've got it in my hand, and I'm just going to club the shit out of the dummy. That's it. I'm not, I'm not looking fancy. I'm just, wah. <laughs> well. uh, that, that other side bounces back. I've played with nunchucks before. Oh yeah, I've well, so have I. Literally, I've not. Go get out. mine from the other room. I have not knocked myself out, but I've given myself bruises. Yeah, we, I, we do I, have I it have, though that I'm not allowed to use the wooden ones yet. Can <laughs> <laughs> only use the because I'm a giant <laughs> slut. I got you three successes. How many? I got three successes. Nice. So, so, yeah. so they're effective. Do your damage. Strength plus plus strength plus one. And difficulty six for for just mm -hmm. for damage. Three. Three successes. So you see that this can be used. You know, so like you're like, huh. And if you do this a few times, um, like you know if you if you continue to do this, you would be able to knock the head off the dummy. Hmm. And then I just I just calmly take my sword and stick it in the dummy. <laughs> <Just. laughs> Alright, so he prefers the direct approach. Yeah. And no one really is that close. Um Donnie turns to uh to Sifu uh, Schmitz and just says, Can I strike the dummy? Is that all right? He's like, Absolutely. The uh the dummies do repair themselves, so you are welcome to destroy the dummy. He's oh. like, okay. Self repairing. Uh, that's that's nifty. It's yes. They um. This is this is their natural state. So once damaged, um, over a few hours they'll return back to their natural state. Um. It was. It's. It's. It. It's. From what was explained to me, it was. It's a. It's a simple magic. Um. But it's a it's a it's a permanency issue, um, so he's like, all right. So he wanders out. He's like, um, I need a little bit of room if you don't mind. So he comes over and he's he's like he's got the mall on his shoulder and he's walking along with it. Um, and he's like, you're sure it's okay? And he's like, yeah, I'm sure it's okay. 
So he swings this over his head once, and then with the momentum just comes down and just flat straight on the head uh, hits it. What do I got? One, two, three, four. He hits the head and he hits it straight in, and it like at the neck of the dummy, it just breaks straight off. So when he hits it, the head rolls towards him. He's like, That's a nice dummy. <laughs> um, and he's like, But I, I can see how all our weapons could work on, on where we're at. Turns to Jen and just says, I wanted to see you do your thing. You know, I was hoping that you would ask. So I'm going to take my weapon and go try to cut the head off. Okay. So you've got the one that um, uh, Kagami was attacking, and you have the one that uh, Katamaris attacked as well. Okay. Uh, I'll go with the one that Kagami was going at. Okay. And uh, was it like Dex melee, melee or whatever? Yeah, Dex Melee, difficulty six. Make sure I'm counting correctly. Difficulty six, you said? Uh, five, but one, okay. I always screw this up. I had five successes. One of them's a 10, so I could re-roll, but I have a one. So then do I not re-roll or did I just count it as that or no? No, you say you have five successes, take away one that gives you four successes. And then, and then I get to the see if you get that. Okay. Uh, it's a nine. So, so that's five, five successes. successes. All right. Yes. So yeah, you absolutely... Easily hit this at the neck with the five successes. So let's see what kind of damage you do. So strength. What is what is your weapon? Strength. Is it strength plus three or four? I can't remember. Uh, let me look. Hold on. Uh, somewhere. Um. Ah. Uh. Strength plus five equals okay. nine. There we go. So that's. So rolling nine dice, difficulty six. Rolling nine, rolling eight, rolling nine of the dice, difficulty six. Okay. Yes. This one I don't re-roll, right? For tens? Yeah, you don't re-roll damage. Okay. But if I got a one, so just the one subtract just one from what I got. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So then I have six successes. Six successes? Yeah, you take the head clean off. So you come through, you slice through, and the heads the heads it just it it just comes off and the head flies over to the left at that point. Um Francis just starts laughing. He's like, I'm going to like being in a fight with you guys. This is going to be <laughs> fun. Count Mars, let me, let, me, uh, let me slice and dice your guy over there. Not my guy, but feel free. Can you pull the sword out of him? Because I just want to get up and stabby stab. Oh, no, yeah. I, I just stuck it in and just I didn't leave it in there. Oh, okay. I thought you stuck it in and just walked away. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, just, I just did it to show that it's lot, a lot less exertion just to stick somebody than it is to, you know, fly around and do everything we've been doing. Okay. Um, Francis, when he comes in, all, he's just like, it's like slice across where the neck is, slice across um, where the just chest area, and he's like stabs, temple, temples, so the, like throat, throat. Um, heart, heart. So he's just, he's just quick when he's stabbing, you know, so he's, he's going vital organs, but he's also doing like some unnecessary moves, like slicing across the face, you know, and like slicing across the chest that would just cause a lot of blood. 
but not do a lot of damage at that point. But mm -hmm. he's hitting and doing all kinds of and then just when he does the stabs, those are definite like attack moves. Gotcha. Um, he does a couple showy things when he's holding it, like stabbing it. He'll flip it around in his hand and do a forward thrust, you know. So, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, this is, I like these. They like these knives. I can like can work with these." Um, and then he's like, uh, he looks over at, at at Yev and he's like, "So what do you do?" I'm more an espionage expert, but I mean, I've been in fights before. Um, Wait, I've seen well. this one. She does the karate chop to the back of the neck, correct? No. Is that not what spies do? <laughs> no. Um, I oh. pull out the. I pull out this um, Armenian knife that um, is kind of my special thing, but it's just a knife. It's just a like an engraved knife. Um, I guess it's a dagger. Same thing. Um, so I guess I, I'll do a little demo, but like I'm not. I've got a melee of one. <laughs> and a brawl of two. So, I mean, well, with a melee of one, you have, you've received training. So, you know, you're going to be able to hit something unless you botch and not injure yourself, basically. Yeah, well, so. we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, one. One success, not a one. <laughs> I got a one, but I got two successes on top. Okay, of okay, one. we're good. Okay, so yeah, you you show yourself. I mean, you can you can use the knife. Um, it's obvious you've received some training on it. Um, but everybody here, it's clear this is not your thing. You know, so um. Uh, Francis just says, you'd probably rather do your claws than the bitey thing. Yeah, right? I really would. Yeah. Um, Sifu Schmitz just says, there, there is time to use claws and fang, and there are times when there are times to use weapons as well. So this room is designed for weapon training. Um, there are the, the next, there's, there are three other halls. Each hall is specialized for a different form of combat, hand-to-hand um, -hand combat. Um, there is another hall that is meant for archery and crossbow. Um, and then the uh, the fourth hall is also, um, it's for specialized hand-to-hand -hand combat. And it's, it's, you can, within the fourth hall, you can do weapons against hand-to-hand -hand or weapons or hand-to-hand -hand against arrow um it's, it's kind of a um a master's level training area um so you will you will spend time with within each within each hall within each dojo learning different fighting techniques um you mentioned espionage we do train with an espionage here um we train within um how to how how to research, how to um, notice things within the surroundings. Um, so there are there are areas here within the spy world, if you would. Um, there well, are. I'm glad to hear that uh, my skills are not completely uh, out of touch with this place. No, when it comes time for recruiting, um, your skills will help as far as um, going for discovery of who we are recruiting at that point. When it comes time for fighting the worm and fighting um, those against Gaia, your, your skills will be, will be necessary at that point as well. Um, there's not a lot we can train within computers here because computers aren't here. Um, but once you get to the next, when, when you get to Subtropolis, there, we do have, a room there that is connected um, to the internet. Um, it has a good a good connection, so you can go within that room for research and so forth. I'm glad to hear it. 
But uh, I, also, I also look forward to expanding my capabilities in this direction. Excellent. There And then contacting for ritual and for um, contacting uh, spirits there. Once you leave the warded area, um, it is easy to go within the caves nearby to call spirits um, for training within rituals um, and rites. Um, you are welcome to train one another on the rites as well. Um, and there are others here that can help train you as well. Your masters that will be training you can teach you rites and rituals as well. Um, but if you're looking for a specific new rite or ritual going into um, the cave network, um, there are a lot of bat spirits here. There are a lot of um, fish spirits here that can that can train um, different rituals and rites. So with that, we are at 926. I think this is a good place to stop right here. Um, so we are in our weapons dojo, um, weapons hall. Um, and then next week or next time we get together, we can decide where we're going from here. We can begin training. And then I'd like to talk about maybe um, after we get a more of a, a tour of the facility, um, do a do a training montage where we can skip forward in time, where you can just tell me um, some abilities you want to learn, and instead of having to role play all that, we can skip forward a couple months sure. in training, and then have you go forward from there. That mm -hmm. way, sweet. That way we can set we can spend some of that experience and everything. You don't want us to spend two months going through training montages on yeah, screen. No. We don't need to do that. You're the best <laughs> around. No one's gonna ever break you down. <laughs> so your shopping list of rites, rituals, abilities, and everything like that, it's that's exactly what we need. So that we can talk about how long it'll take to learn everything, and we can talk about how long we're looking at training. Because uh, Sifu Schmidt said it, we're looking at two to three months of training before we release you back out into the world to start recruiting. Um, so we can't take level two abilities till we're, or like, uh, gifts and stuff until we're level two, right? They Correct. Rank two. Yes. Rank two. That's what I meant. Same thing. Yeah. Um, cause like I, I started to make a list of that stuff and then like just trying to compile it from the werewolf book. It was a little overwhelming. So I've got to go through that list that Jerome posted. The website? Has, yep. Yeah. That it, have, it's nice because you can just put the name in for the search and it'll come right and it'll come up if they've got it in the database, which I think they have most of them. Well, but like if I'm if I'm just browsing for stuff that I like window shopping. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. All right. Well, Jerome, if you want to stop the feed, then we can chat about technical difficulties after that. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so the next game coming up, for those of you who catch us on the uh, stream afterwards, or uh, um, or I should say upload afterwards on YouTube, uh, the next game coming up is Mass Effect. That's going to be on the 10th, that's this Wednesday. And then we'll be playing again until the 19th, uh, which will be the second game of Sorcerer, Arcane Chaos. So we find out uh, now that they've raided a Tremere Chantry just what exactly is going to happen from there, so... Alrighty, cool. Uh, well, thanks all for tuning in and stop by and chat with us. And I hope you guys enjoy your night. Bye. Bye, everybody. And stream.